Bolt Dora was all speed on the racetrack as a two-time grade one winning juvenile. We spoke with Mark Toothacre, as well as a few consigners headed towards the Phasic Tipton July sale to see if the Spendthrift Sire's first crop of yearlings looked to show his same early success. Bolt Doro just got off to such a great start here. I think we bred 211 mares to him in his first crop. Uh, got an outstanding group of mares. We had about twice as many applications as we uh, had spots. So, you know, got off to a great start. But the thing with Bolt is, is that, you know, we just haven't seen many horses by Medallia Dioro, uh, you know, out of AP and D mares that are so good as two-year-olds. And that's what really drew us. Here's a horse that's bred to run all day long that's you know, winning the Del Mar Futurity and then coming back winning the front runner and, you know, to win two grade ones at two with his pedigree, you know, it's kind of freakish. What a performance in the front runner. It was just absolutely amazing. He ran a crazy number on the sheets. He just absolutely demolished that field. Bolt Doro treats his rivals to a comprehensive walloping in the front runner. This first crop that we've had a chance to go see, we saw basically almost all of them as weanlings and they were leggy. We're getting really strong hipped horses, good hind legs, but had Bolt's leg. You know, they stood over some ground. So, you know, I think that breeders are, are, are very, very happy with what they've got. Their responses to us have been great. I think they're going to be rewarded very well. This filly is uh, a daughter of Bolt de Oro. She's out of a mare called Wall of Worry. She's very athletic. She's been athletic from the day she was born. She does everything we want her to do and she's been sound and healthy and straightforward and good-minded and everything you want. First colt is a Bolt Dioro out of a mare named I Pop and Ruby. This horse is going to Saratoga. He's got all the classic things you really want going to Saratoga. Big, loose, athletic walk, a lot of presence to him, very smart horse. He's got a lot of length, looks like he could run two turns, but he's got enough hip and hind quarter where he looks like he could be fast, be early. We've got a filly going to Phasing Tipped in July that I'm really excited about too. Uh, she's out of a mare named Moment of Spite. And um, this filly is long, stretchy filly. Looks like she could run two turns. Got a good hip to her. Very well balanced. A lot of strength over her top line. And uh, I think you're going to see plenty of bolts run early, but I think that they're also going to be more classic type horses at the end of the day too. And that's what this filly kind of looks like. One word describes them, it's athletes. Uh, the ones we have are rock stars and we love them and we have more mares bred to him so we uh we think he's gonna hit and i think that these bolts to me they look like they'll be fast but they don't look like one-dimensional horses that are just going to be um you know done early in their two-year-old year he was a great two-year-old obviously but these horses look like they can run long they're long with plenty of strength behind which is a great tandem to have uh, in the market and on the racetrack. So I'm very bullish from what I've seen so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch more over the next 90 days. With six of these headed out to the July sale, FASIC's done a great job. Most everyone we run into is just very excited about the bolts. Uh, this July sale will be a great start to him. There's three Colts, three Phillies. Very excited to kick off sale season with him and then head to Saratoga with a great group up at Saratoga.